I'm focusing on uh, the intersection between mobile computing and cloud computing. So mobile phones today, they come with a 3G data plan. They have very good internet connectivity. And they could very well like use the cloud as a backend to store additional data or to make use of the cloud to do additional uh, processing that is kind of expensive to do on the phone. So I'm looking at opportunities that come up in the mobile computing sector. What we've done is we've built uh, some applications that showcase uh, the benefits that you get. So the applications themselves, when you look at the UIs, uh, they're primitive. However, what's interesting to understand is that at the back of, in the back of the hood, uh, we're using uh, Windows Azure, which is a scalable cloud platform, and all of the information that's being shared is being shared with the utmost privacy. Now, on my mobile device, I receive a filter request from my friend and I accept that filter request. And I take a picture of an object with my phone. This image matches the filter that my friend had installed, gets encrypted, and shipped via Azure to my friend who now sees the picture with the appropriate tag. So let's pretend I have a friend, Alice, who's interested in my location while I'm in uh, her vicinity. Alice can draw a region on a map that indicates that she's interested in my location while I'm inside this region and send a filter to my device. I receive this filter on my device. I can choose to accept this. Now, subsequent location updates that are generated by my device that fall within the region of Alice's interest end up getting relayed to her. And you can see this as uh, the red push pins that are showing up on the map. If I'm installing a filter on another person's device, that filter gets uploaded to the cloud, and the other person is downloading it from there. So now, of course, once we bring in the cloud again, we have to be worried about privacy again, which was the, the, the problem we wanted to solve in the first place. So what we do is we encrypt all data on the end devices so that a filter that is going to be installed is encrypted before it's going to be uploaded to the cloud. And any data item that matches the filter is going to be encrypted before it's going to be uploaded to the cloud. So in that way, we, we guarantee the privacy of the users. So the data that is stored in the cloud is always in an encrypted form and cannot be viewed by, any, by anybody.